We're doing a summer sale. If you want to buy any of our video classes, group tutorials, or one-to-one -one lessons, just use the link below to get a discount. 大家好，我是戴修仙，我来自英国，欢迎回到我的频道。今天是一个很特别的一天，因为我有我的朋友 Florence， 然后 Florence 是最近跟我们一起教英文的，但是他已经教过英文超过六年，所以今天我们来认识一下 Florence， 然后我们会讨论一下苏格兰文化。So, hi Florence, welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And、uh, maybe you could tell us where you're from.、Uh, so I'm from Scotland, as Susie said, and I'm from a place in Scotland called the Scottish Borders, which is near the capital Edinburgh. So if you're driving up towards the north of England and then you cross the border. Is it totally different? I would say yes, because I have this theory that people in Scotland, they, their accents become stronger on the border because they're trying to establish their accents.、Oh. They're like, we're Scottish. <laughs> That's so interesting.、Yeah. Last year in the Euros, the football championship league、mm. thing, it was like Italy against the England. And Italy won, and all the Scottish people were so happy. I think it's nice to be proud of your country, but I think that's a shame, you know, to to not be supportive. I think it's you know we're we're close countries. We should be supportive of each other, you know. I see so much nationalism in, in Scotland, and it's great to be proud. But I just think that we should also be friends and not booing England and things,、mm -hmm, you know.、Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, how would you describe your English accent? My accent.、Uh, Is barely Scottish, and it used to be more like brogue. What do you mean by brogue? Sorry, so a, a brogue is more、um, attributed to like a man, like a strong Scottish brogue, a bit like <laughs> a bit like this.、Mm -hmm. So my Scottish accent has kind of disappeared mostly, and actually I'm I'm half Irish, so a lot of、um, people often think I'm more Irish. Yeah, for me, I hear very very faint. Remnants of Scottish accent, and、mm. you speak Scots dialect. I do. Some people in Scotland speak Scots dialect more, and some people don't speak it as much. But we all kind of understand it if you're from Lowland Scotland, like、mm -hmm. Scotland and、um, Edinburgh and Glasgow.、So. Okay. Can you teach us some of it? Okay. Let's start with traditional, just one word, I. So many I. people know this. I. Can you be like I? Oh, definitely. Okay. I. <laughs> okay, so you can say it in any way. Yeah.、It、means yes. Yes. Means yes. I, I. <laughs> Had you wished? Had you wished? Yeah, great. Yeah, that's really good. Had you wished is like、uh, shh. It's a root. It's kind、like、of shut bit, your mouth. Exactly. Yeah. It's a bit like shut <laughs> it up. It kind of sounds like that.、Yeah. Had you wished? Had you wished? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, because a lot of words in Scots dialect are just variations on English. I think it's a mix between Gaelic and English.、Mm -hmm. um, so like mother. Would be mither.、Yeah. Mither. Yeah, it's fun. That's really good. <laughs> oh, so this is quite interesting. So we have、uh, Glasgow and Edinburgh. People from Edinburgh say like Edinburgh, Edinburgh, and then Glasgow, Glasgow. My favourite thing though is to do a really funny Glaswegian accent. Oh, gone down the shops, and I'm gonna get a pure bottle of baki. Like. That's a funny That's Glaswegian from accent. That's Glasgow. That's a Glaswegian、yeah. accent, yeah. But it's a very particular one.、So. Right. And、is that like a certain type of person? Yes, definitely.、Uh, kind What kind of, of person is that? Eighteen-year-old and、um, younger. Ned. We call them Ned. So that、yeah. is a chav.、Uh, yeah. So we used to have this word chav. You're not really allowed to say it anymore, or like、mm. describe people as that.、Mm. But you know, like trackies hanging down,、mm. like skinhead, shaved heads, yeah, smoking. Yeah.、Mm. yeah. What else? Like earrings, maybe. Yeah, maybe earrings. Kind of sparkly gem in the ear. Gem. Yeah. <laughs> It was like yeah. a style. Yeah. Wearing、mm. up. As I was saying, Glasgow、uh, versus Edinburgh, we have different words for different things in these different places. And so the word for baby, we'd say bairn. In Glasgow, I think it's wain.、Mm. Oh, the wain. The wain.、Like、so the one you just said before was we.、Mm. Yeah, we conversation.、Mm. I think I know that one. Maybe the audience knows that.、Mm. That means small, right? Yeah,、Little. small. Yeah. And also, um. It's my um. I actually called my sister we one growing up, and、oh, um, yeah, that's cute. Which is it is really cute. And also pal, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pal in Scotland. All right, pal. All right, pal. All right, pal. <laughs> I'm just gonna say like what English people tend to say is the stereotype about Scottish people.、Hmm. We think 
love the accent, find it A, funny because of that video, for example, uh, but also really soft and down to earth and the people tend to be really friendly, maybe funny as well, and kind of kind and open. Oh yeah, people, people are friendly, definitely, and I have seen a difference as much as I love Canterbury, I really love it, it's an amazing place to live. Maybe there's more of a coldness in the south of England. Yeah, and then often as well, there's less people in Scotland, you have to realise. So, um, actually, people are just happy not to just see a sheep, you know? <laughs> yeah. The good thing about being from Scotland as well, right? So, when I came down to England in my tweeds, which I was wearing tweed, nice. um, came down to England and I was like, I could be anyone because uh, Scottish accents um, generally are anything you want them to be. You know, you're not really rich, you're not really poor, you're not really anything. Uh, you know, right. you can be actually quite an anything you want. Really. Oh, okay, so there's not the kind of classism with the Scottish accent. Yeah, generally, yeah. although a lot of people would say, oh, you're from Edinburgh, you sound a bit posh, you know, like that. Right, right. Yeah, because in my mind, more maybe of a Glasgow accent that's mm. going to be quite different, like the type of person that you imagine to have that accent yes. might be a bit different. So historically, um, exactly, so historically as well, um, speaking Scots dialect was seen as something that was uh, not mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. good, so yeah. it got actually pushed out right. because it was seen as a lower class thing to do, which is not, you know, it's not like the case now. It's often like that, isn't it, mm. with any sort of dialect? Yeah, definitely, completely. The kilts, mm, what's okay. that about? So kilts are essentially like skirts for men, right? So this is just a traditional thing. It comes from the clans, which uh, are like groups of people, usually families, and they all have the, a specific tartan, um, and then they would have them as their kilts, and it would identify them in battle, for example. And it was, it's a very manly thing, oddly, to wear the, the kilt, and people wear a sporran, and they also have... What's a sporran? It's like a little pouch you wear oh, on the front yeah. of your kilt. And then you mm -hmm. also have, um, often people have a little dagger in their right. sock. <laughs> right. Uh, people like to wear them at Cayleys, uh -huh. which uh, are dances that we have in Scotland. Uh, Scottish country dancing, which we were made to do in school, by the way, mm -hmm. much to my um, chagrin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> what's the dance? Like, what kind of style is it? It's very joyous. It's really, really fun. And there's a lot of e like that. <laughs> <laughs> People do a lot of yelling, and you throw your partner around. The best fun at Kaylee is when you just throw your partner really viciously around and just yell in the air. It's really fun. I remember when I was younger, I actually. Um, saw a man's kilt come up and traditionally um you're not meant to wear a thing under under really yeah no underwear no underwear why because apparently it's more manly like that right um, <laughs> <laughs> i don't know the reasoning Let but it be free yeah it's more comfortable freedom in scotland right <laughs> <laughs> the bagpipes okay so <laughs> the bagpipes uh there are actually many different kind of pipes from all over the world um, that could be described as bagpipes, you know, different pipes from all over the world. But uh, we have a particular one called the Highland Pipes, which are devastatingly loud. And you'll often hear them on, say, uh, Princess Street in Edinburgh, which is mm -hmm. the main street. Yeah. And it does, I think every Scottish person I know who goes to Princess Street and hears the, the Highland Pipes, it does bring a bit of a tear to your eye. It's really... really? Yeah, definitely. It's really nice. What does it remind you of? The thing is, though, with Scotland is that we have so much beautiful music and we all learn it growing up. Mm. It's a huge culture. It reminds you of your childhood, maybe, hearing the bagpipes. Right. Mm. Okay. Shortbread. Shortbread. Tablet. My mum used to make tablet. It's a bit like fudge, but not as nice. Chewy. Sorry, yeah. mum. <laughs> so let me tell you a bit about say my childhood because it was so quintessentially Scottish. So I have two sisters. There was a lot of um, singing in my house growing up, but because we learned Scottish songs in school, we did a lot of singing together. Uh, and because there's not a lot to do in the countryside of Scotland, we'd go down to the river and um, sing together and things like this, which is really nice. Do you miss it? Yeah, I do sometimes. When I hear Scottish music, because I think it's so beautiful, some of it, and I really like uh, folk music from Scotland. Um, 
And what's really interesting, actually, some of the folk music that I used to sing growing up has uh, uses Scots dialect and also um, mm. probably Gaelic language as well. There's loads of Gaelic. There's such a good scene of Scot- Scottish um, music in the Highlands mm. and Islands. But yeah, so a song called, for example, uh, Ye Banks and Braes. Ye Banks and Braes, O Bonnie Doon, How Can Ye Chant Ye Little Bird? How Can Ye... I can't remember now. <laughs> Have you got any tips for how someone can tell if someone's speaking with a Scottish accent? Basically, often Scottish um, accents can be stronger and more guttural often. Mm-hmm. Uh, we use a lot of ch, a bit mm-hmm. more like och, och I the new, as it, it's meant to be the most Scottish thing that anyone's ever heard of, but I actually don't know what it means. <laughs> they say och I a lot. Och. My mum says och a lot, like och, och. Yeah, because I mean, of all the accents in the UK, for me, I find it the easiest to distinguish. There's a lot of the, yeah, more of the, mm. and the ooh, kind of softer vowels, I feel. The Irish accent mm. is more, um, it goes up and down more. Mm. Um, English, I think, stays on more of one level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And same with Scot- Scottish is a bit more bouncy as well. Mm-hmm. So, and rule it, like, <sighs> loch. Loch. But don't get spit up. Yeah, we don't spit anyone. No, spit, okay. no, 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 because then someone might give you a Glasgow kiss if you do that. What's that? Oh, do you not know? Oh, it's a headbutt. Really? Yeah. <laughs> headbutt is like... Yeah, so if you're going to headbutt someone, you just go mm, like that. And so if anyone says, do you want a Glasgow kiss? Run. <laughs> if anyone ever says to you in Glasgow, want a square go? Want a square go? I think I can guess what that means. You need to run away too. Because square up to someone is like... You want some? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have a fight. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, one square, like one square goal. One square goal? Yeah, if they look scary, just run quickly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other Scots dialect? A real classic one that I think is a really good one is uh, a dinny ken. A dinny ken. A dinny ken or a day ken. So okay. I would say a day ken, like a day ken. And I just kind of fall into it like a day ken. Okay, a day ken. Yeah. And then people say more in Glasgow, I've heard, this might not be true, but I think I've heard that it's more like I dinny ken. I dinny ken. So I dinny ken, I dare ken. And that's I don't know. So uh, makes yeah, sense. if you don't know, you just like I dare ken. I dare ken. Lass. Lassie. Uh-huh. Lass. Lassie girl. is a girl. So yeah. Bonnie Lassie is a beautiful girl. What's the stereotype about English people? the Scottish people and it's okay I won't be offended. The problem is right with uh, Scotland is that people are so proud of Scotland and um, we are a smaller country with less people than England and really England um, obviously we have Westminster government and we have devolved powers in Scotland so we have some powers uh, over ourselves but we don't do everything for our country. People like English people definitely but it also depends on um, where in Scotland you are as well Often I find like in certain places in the countryside people are more a bit a bit more nationalistic or so they're a bit like oh hate the English Mah. but that's I think that's just a bit of a stereotype really you know generally people are really friendly but yeah I'd say people just think that the English are more posh in general mm-hmm. they're thinking of the south of England though posh okay yeah. okay uh, also stiff upper lip we have a thing called mm-hmm. the stiff upper lip in in the UK but it's really to do with uh, it's to do with English. Like emotional repressed. Yes, emotionally repressed. Emotionally pressed mm-hmm. And also um, looking down on people a little bit, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's snobby. Yeah, mm. snobby is the word, really. Let's talk about food. A few different things. So we have a thing called haggis, uh, which I've never actually eaten the meat version because I don't eat meat. But I've eaten it once. Yeah. How was that? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a diplomatic answer. <laughs> it's just like ground meat. Yeah, it's also, I think it's made maybe in a sheep's stomach. I would, yeah. I should really know, but. Yeah, I think you're right. But we also say haggis neeps and tatties. So, yep. which is I think turnip and potato. Oh, okay, so neep tatties. is turnip. I think so, yeah. I'm not trying to have a go at Scottish food, but I just eat other kinds of foods. Same yeah. with me and English food, to be honest, yeah. apart from roast dinner. Right. Um, any magical creatures that exist in Scotland? Well, we have this wonderful monster called the Loch Ness Monster. Loch. And it's very important, yes. When you say Loch, Loch, you have to use the back of your throat and kind of breathe into it like this, like Loch, Loch. Loch. People like to call her Nessie. Loch Ness is a lake, right? Yes, it's a lake, sorry. Loch is a lake. No one has ever seen her. 
but there's been many conspiracy theories. And if you Google it, there are loads of articles. Nessie was spotted, you know, last week, and then there's a picture <laughs> with this little dinosaur in the lake. <laughs> I remember seeing a documentary when I was younger where there was, there was just a bit of wood sticking out the top of Loch Ness, and it was clearly not Nessie. <laughs> and there was a big hoopla about it, which is <laughs> quite uh, amazing. Have you heard the phrase, skinny millinky long legs? Skinny Millie Key Long Legs. What does it mean? Just, just a skinny just long skinny. legged person. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny Malinky Long Legs. It's just funny. I just like, I like the way it kind of, the rhythm of it. Skinny it's Malinky Long say. Legs. Skinny mm. Malinky Long Legs. Yeah. So, yeah, let's wrap it up there. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It was I great fun. It. Yeah, we learned a lot about Scotland today. So, if any of you have questions that you want to ask Florence about Scotland, comment down below and I'm going to try and get you to answer them if you want. If you want to have lessons with Florence, just click down below because she is available for classes. We do small group tutorials of three people of intermediate to advanced level English and we do a different topic each week which means we plan new lessons every week for you guys about all sorts of interesting things um, and you can even request a topic if you want. See you next time, I'm Dai Shu Xuan. I'm Florence. Now we'll see you next time. Wash your Florence. Wash it. Wash it, Florence. Yeah. Wash it, Florence. Okay, I'll try. <laughs>